nice cup of tea. Put the kettle on, put your feet up, relax. It's time for a gem haul. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video, as you've probably guessed by the title, is going to be a huge haul. <laughs> massive haul. So I've shopped online at H&M and ASOS. Lots of new in pieces to show you. I'm going to be trying them all on. Um, if you're new around here, my name is Jem. Hi. I love making fashion videos. I'm also a mummy and I love vlogging and things. So um, welcome. And yeah, I'm going to get started in just a second. First of all, just to say there's a lot of things in this video. I'm not going to keep all of the items. No way. I'm just going to be keeping my favourite things. As always, let me know in the comments which bits you guys think I should keep um, and which is your favourite pieces. I'm just putting this out there. I'm not the most organised person and I've just got a pile of clothes next to me in no particular order so I'd like to say this is all the H&M stuff and this is all the ASOS stuff but it's all kind of mishmashed together so I'm just going to show you in no particular order but I will link all the items in the order I show them in the description below so hopefully that will be super helpful and it will be organised in that respect. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. I have been looking for a black puff sleeve um, top for a while now and I did see one on H&M and I was going to get it and I went back the next day to purchase it and it had literally sold out in like a day which is crazy so when I spotted this on ASOS um, I had to get it straight away because I thought I don't want it to sell out again this is by the brand Pieces what size did I get it in I got this in a large and I must say I absolutely love this. It fits really, really nice. So it's tight on this bit and figure hugging, which I think it looks perfect, like tucked in. And then obviously it's got these gorgeous puff sleeves. I love it and puff sleeves are still going strong. I think they're gonna be strong all year round. Really, really on trend and I love it. So um, yeah, I spotted this sweatshirt on the H&M website and it's so pretty. I don't know why, but I always love sweatshirts and jumpers with like little flower il illustrations on especially for spring it's just very appropriate it says on it like a wild flower free and bloom and it's got butterflies and flowers all around it's a crop design and it's in this lovely pale cream color i just think this with a pair of nice mom jeans it's just a really nice outfit you could put this on with some nice trainers i'm sure this will end up on my instagram very soon because um, I love styling my outfits up on there. If you are not following me, um, my Instagram is at Gemlo Valentine and I will link it in the description below. Um, yeah, as I said, I love putting my outfits on there, styling things up. This next one is so, so, so nice. It's a bit of a higher price point, but I decided to just order it, try it on at home, see what it looked like and decide from there. And it's this oversized pink pastel pink um coat um it does up with poppers and it's got pockets so it does come up quite oversized and i'm loving that i love the fit of it it's got like poppers all the way down it's just to be honest with you it's the color that i'm obsessed with actually <laughs> actually matches my duvet it was so funny in my last video i had so many of you guys mention that i was like proper matching my outfits to my duvet because i do love pinks and greys as you can see by my background talking of my background this bedding i've had a lot of people ask me in the comments where it's from and i will link it in the description below if you're interested mm. it's actually this next dress is so beautiful it came up on the new in section on the h&m website so it's this cream satin sort of style long sleeves and it's got this lovely like almost like a paint splodge kind of pattern print on it it's um this is what the necklines like it goes down like this it's got a belt so it kind of ties it all in perfectly and i thought this fit really nicely to be honest with you what size did i get oh i got it in a 14 so yeah i really like it and i think this would just look lovely with like a nice black biker jacket and some black boots okay. gonna be honest i don't think you can ever have too many basics or too many slogan tees in your wardrobe i just think they're so wearable you can team them with so many things and i saw this black one it says a more on it which i think just means love and um it's by misguided and um it's quite oversized gonna be honest like untucked it is quite oversized and you could probably almost wear it as a dress it's that kind of 
big but like tucked in to jeans it looks really really cute so I think I'm gonna keep this one I got this white slogan tee and it's really really simple really minimalistic with a really pretty font which I love it just says dreaming on it this one was from ASOS and it's lovely I've got loads of white slogan tees from there before so yeah I got this and I might as well show you the next item that I tried it on with which is from H&M so I got myself this pink denim shirt jacket. Now, when it gets to spring, I feel like I go quite girly. I do like my monochromes and my rock chick kind of style stuff, but when it gets to spring, I do get super girly. I do love the florals and the pastels. Oh my gosh, pastels. I love pastels. And I just thought this would just be lovely. It's a, uh, it's a thin material, it's a thin denim. So, you know, it will be perfect when the weather gets warmer. Um, in the try-on clip, I'm wearing this with that white slogan tee and I just think it goes really nicely. I think this fits nice. I like to like roll up the sleeves. I got this in a large. I like denim shirts and denim jackets to be quite oversized. That's how I kind of like them to fit. So I'm really pleased with the sizing of this. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. Do you know what? There is quite a lot of pink in this video. But next up is actually a jumper. So... As I said, I do think spring is my favourite season, if I'm being honest, spring and autumn, because they're like the transitional times where you can layer up. And I do love my knitwear. And this came up on the new in section H&M, and I love it. So it's this lovely, oh, wrong way around. I love this jumper. It's in the perfect dusky pink. It's a really nice length because it's, it's kind of long enough to wear it untucked and look cute and not be too croppy, um, but you can tuck it in as well into like high-waisted jeans. I got this in a large and I um, oh, just really love it to be honest with you. I think I am gonna struggle with this haul because I'm gonna wanna keep everything. But um, I, got actually, I actually got two pink jumpers from H&M and I do not know which one to keep. So I'm gonna ask you now, should I get this one? This is jump pink jumper one, let me know in the comments. Or should I keep this next one? See, this one is so different. I don't have like, anything like this in my wardrobe. This pink is so pretty. Like I could just wear this with like a nice, I don't know, like a pink lip and just feel nice and bright and happy. I am so over winter. I'm so over the miserable gray days that we have and I'm just so ready for spring. And this just brightens up everything it brightens up my life now i like the high neck it's almost got a vintage it's almost like an 80s kind of high neck which i love and it's got these puff sleeves um the material is quite hard to describe but it's really soft it actually does remind me of something from the 80s like like a kind of vintage material almost i got this in a large again and yeah, so let me know which pink jumper, pink jumper one or pink jumper two. I can't keep both of them, I've got to be good. I still really love the paper bag waist trend. I love paper bag trousers, I love paper bag shorts. Super, super, super high waist, I am living for that. And I saw on the H&M website these dog tooth ones. I find H&M do really nice paper bag trousers. And uh, I've got these in a 14. I love these because they're so high waisted. You can cinch them in really tight and they just look really stylish. I think you could wear these in so many ways. You could wear these to work or you could make it more casual with like a, a slogan tee and some white trainers or something. They're quite like versatile. Um, yeah, as I said, they're very high-waisted. I think they're quite flattering as well. So really, really like these. I do love a little bit of leopard print in my life, not gonna lie. And I saw this rather nice skirt on the website. This is by Daisy Street. I got it in a size 14. Now, I love this. So as you can see, it's got like this lettuce. Is it called Lettuce Edge? I think it's called Lettuce Edge. Um, finish at the bottom however I think I'm going to size up because it's quite tight like it's got a really thick elasticated band and it is quite tight and not that comfy so I think I'm going to size up to a 16 um, but I'd really like the leopard print on it I really like the fit of it otherwise so so these are a little bit different I'm I don't know what I was thinking getting these, but I was kind of like living on the edge. I thought, let's get something a bit out of my comfort zone. And um, these jeans just caught my eye. 
Okay, so at first glance, they just look like a normal pair of high-waisted mom jeans. Nice wash and everything. But actually, when you go down, it's gonna be hard to show you without showing you in the try-on clip. But um, they've got oh, gorgeous rips, which I'm loving. They're like a wide leg fit at the end, which I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe. So I tried them on and I really, really like them. They're not what I would normally go for but I'm actually loving them. So I think I'm gonna keep these. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. They are a little bit different. I rave about ASOS jeans. I really, really love their jeans. Um, I'm always wearing their ASOS Farley jeans. I do think the ASOS design jeans are made really, really nicely and fit nicely as well. So that's those ones. I did spend quite a long time on the website looking at all the jeans and I found these ones by Misguided. They are mom jeans with a raw hem at the bottom. I really like a raw hem on the jeans. I just think it's a really nice finish. And um, these ones, I just they just caught my eye really. I really like the really pale blue wash of them. I'm kind of like on the fence though because I don't know how nice they are on the bum. Like they look nice from the front but on the bum, I don't think they're as nice. If you know what I mean, I'm quite fussy about jeans. So if I'm being fussy, obviously I'm not gonna keep two pairs of jeans because I cannot justify that I need to be good. So I think I'm gonna keep the um, other jeans, the wide leg ones, and I'm probably gonna send these back, but I thought I'd show you anyway. I spotted this belt on the website and I just thought it was really nice. Um, I haven't got a belt like this, so it's got like a gold buckle and I got it with the intention of actually wearing it as a waist belt. So I got it in a medium, which I think was a 12 to 14. Or was it a 10 to 12? I'm not actually sure. I got it in a medium anyway. Um, but yeah, I would normally probably have a large, but as it's going around the waist, I thought I'd go for a medium. And I really like this. So it's got like a mock croc kind of finish um, and shiny and then it's got this gold buckle. I think these look great with t-shirt dresses just to kind of cinch everything in. So I'm really, really pleased with this one. I think I'm definitely gonna keep it. I love the satin skirt trend. I still love it and I think it looks beautiful with a nice jumper or a nice cardigan for spring and even winter, to be honest with you, with some black tights and boots. But um, okay, I'm not sure which one is my favorite. So let me know out of the three. This is skirt one. Um, so as you can see, it's like this very pale, oh, it's like this very pale beige color with these gorgeous polka dots, as you can see. I am quite a big fan of polka dots. And this is by the brand Monkey. Um, I got it in a large and yeah, it's really, really nice. I um, It's quite short actually out of the three skirts, but this is the first one. So this is skirt one. This is skirt two and it's quite, it's basically like the opposite version. So it's black with pale beige spots. This one, I think I prefer the length because it's a little bit longer. But this is skirt two anyway. Let me know what you're thinking. This one was H&M. Got this in a large. But I have to say, it's quite it comes up quite big on the waist. I think maybe if I decide to keep it, I'll exchange it for a medium. But it's really, really lovely. Okay, skirt three is maybe not for everyone, but I love the colours in it. It's a very 90s grunge design. Like if you team this with a black biker jacket, you'd be it'd be so grungy, which I'm loving. It's really different and unusual. And I think it would look lovely with a biker jacket and some like biker boots as well. And I was also thinking guys, the jumper, this jumper with the skirt, how pretty would that be? But like, just hold these together. I think these go so nicely. So like, I'm drawn to that. Anyway, this is skirt three. Let me know which is your favorite, one, two or three. Next up is this spotty oversized t-shirt dress. Gonna be honest, Without a belt, this looks like a spotty sack and it's just, it just doesn't work without a belt. But um, I will show you the try on clip with the belt, um, the belt that I actually showed you in the haul from ASOS as well. And I think with a belt and a biker jacket, this is just such a cute outfit. It's a really nice way to just change up an outfit. Might not be for everyone, but this is definitely up my street and I'm loving it. I think this will probably end up on my Instagram soon. So yeah, as I said, give me a follow on Instagram if you like my outfits, but um, oh my gosh, that was everything guys. If you're still watching, thank you for sticking with me. I know this was a long, 
big haul. So please let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Which bits do you think I should keep? As I said, I do not keep all the things in these in these hauls. I just keep my absolute favourite pieces. I will be linking all of the items down in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can also hit that subscribe button for more videos. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!